Just be out with us to Crossroads Maldives, one of the closest islands to the capital of the Maldives, Mali. In this video, we will tell you how to go to the luxurious private island for under $35 per person. Just, just be, be out, out with, with us. us. We just took a taxi from our hotel in Hulu Mali to Mali pier well that's what it says on the app when you book your speedboat it's called mali pier but usually pe people here do not say mali pier the check-in for crossroads is at the art ga art gallery mali and you will see crossroads sign you just walk in and check in for your speedboat and right across from it there is a harbor or the pier and we are taking one of the speedboats to get to the island it is about 15 minute speedboat ride keep in mind when you do book your tickets you have to download the app it's called crossroads maldives we will leave the link in the description below and you do need to uh, enter your passport details and they say that you will need your uh, Identifications in order to get on the speedboat but when we check in they did not even ask for the identifications we just showed uh, the tickets uh, on the app and they gave us this bracelet they do say you need to come 15 minutes before uh, the time to actually leave before the departure to check in this way they know you're here and the speedboat ticket is actually a round trip it is 20 us dollars per person you select the time in the morning when you want to depart and when you want to go back a quick jbo pro tip this type of speedboat leaves from mali and hulu mali but hulu mali only has one departure time and one return uh, uh, time and it is 11 30 a.m. and 5 30 p.m. which is gives you a very short time when you purchase your tickets from Mali the earliest is 10 45 but the latest uh, return ticket is actually 11 45 so you really get a longer time to stay at the crossroads island boarding was really fast as soon as everybody got on board we are out That was 15 minutes on the dock and you can already see the difference the color of water is incredible gorgeous You arrive at the marina there are lots of shops here but since we took the first ferry at 10 45 all the shops are closed we were told that all the shops open later in the evening and this entire area is hustling and bustling so right now we are actually heading to the beach club we just purchased the speedboat round trip uh, through the app and if you buy it one way right at the uh, office you can actually get the return ticket for you for yourself here uh, as soon as you arrive as well as we're walking around here on crossroads island it reminds me so much of you know when you're on a cruise and you reach one of the ports of call and you have all these beautiful structures and all the stores you have to walk through and places where you can purchase souvenirs and everything it feels exactly like that, except there is no one here. And obviously the reason being, we took the first boat out and there was only about 10 people on the boat with us that came out. Um, later on, it's going to get a little bit more busy, but it's cool. I already see people riding around on bicycle, bicycle rentals, but it's just the feel that it gives you when you're here. It's like all these structures and I feel like I just got off a cruise ship, but not. This is the entrance to the beach club. We just walked through pretty much the entire marina and here is the reception where you need to purchase tickets for the beach club it is nice and air-conditioned here 
Right, the admission here is $12 per person to get into the beach club and it also includes 30% discount on your food and beverages. And they do accept cards. We purchased the basic package, but they also have different types of packages. You can get the $150 all-inclusive deal per person, so it includes two meals, uh, unlimited drinks, uh, the access to the club, and your return boat. So the way it works, you can only, if you're uh, purchasing with the concierge, you can only purchase one-way boat, or we purchased the round-trip boat already through the app. So if you purchase the one-way boat once you get here then you can purchase the different packages if you do a half day it's $120 and it includes only one meal also uh, all-inclusive for beverage is $100 per person and just the meal package is $65 per person but we went with the basic one the $25 here includes your return ticket but we already have one hour return ticket so we only pay $12 per person for the access to the beach club. It's pretty reasonable. aerobics here and you can actually join it with your day pass as well we just got our chairs and towels and look how epic this is gorgeous wow isn't it paradise this is amazing just a 15 minute speedboat ride you get to this paradise comparing to Mali they don't really have bikini beaches and their beaches don't really even look good but here obviously you know you can wear a bikini it is absolutely beautiful no need for filters all you Instagrammers you come here the water is beautiful and it's not even turquoise it's emerald it is just stunning how beautiful and clear the water is all the way out as far as the eye can see Ugh. And this is an amazing deal, $20 boat ride, round trip, $12 beach access, and there's also alcohol for all you drinkers. Cheers! This pool is absolutely gorgeous. If you do not want to go in the ocean, you can just swim in the pool. There are a lot of little nooks and crannies for privacy or Instagram photos. It is gorgeous here. There are several bars here and they have poolside tables, tables in the sand, uh, little cabanas. They even have a swing uh, nets to play volleyball. Just so much soccer, soccer yeah. Like, and even inside the pool there are little areas with actual it's a jacuzzi so they have jets actually coming out of different ports so you can kind of just lay back in the pool and have a little bit of jacuzzi action going there is also swim up bar mm -hmm. and if you don't want to dine outside you want to cool off there is actually an inside area here as well the gorgeous white building look like a castle and there is an inside restaurant there as well this is one of the reasons why we recommend island hopping when you're here in the Maldives. Like this is the thing 
to do. It's amazing. It doesn't cost much. You get a day pass. You come out here and you just enjoy yourself. And when you finish, you take the ferry right back to Mali. So awesome. This is amazing. This island is completely artificial and it is home to two resorts. On my left hand side, there is Sai Resort, and on my right hand side, there is Hard Rock Resort. And I checked the prices for Hard Rock, it starts at $5,000 a night, and Sai Resort starts at $400 a night. And here in the middle, uh, it is connected by two bridges to an, another island which is uh, hosts the marina. This is where we arrived. Uh, it's a boat harbor. It actually has uh, mega yachts docked here at the marina and the marina has lots of shops, restaurants and here there is also an activity center and uh, i see the long bridge that's actually the longest bridge and that is the bridge that connects hard rock resort and the sai hotel behind me has a smaller bridge so there are kind of a, a sm three small islands that are connected by bridges and crossroads is the company that allows you to visit this area the marina uh, the activity center and the beach club if you come in here for a day trip like we did you are not allowed to access any of the resorts we attempted but the security uh, just went after us and said that we're not allowed to access any of the resorts but if you are staying it at either Sai or the Hard Rock Resort, you can visit the entire area. And it's funny because we took the speedboat for only 20 US dollars per person round trip. But if you book in, let's say, Sai, they force you to take another boat transfer, which is $125. Go figure. If you just go on the same distance to the marina, it's $20 round trip. If you book in the resort, it's $125. We are now at the sports center or activity center. It is located right between two resorts, the Hard Rock and Sai, and right behind the pool area where we just were. They have so many different activities. And as a day tripper, you can actually join some of the activities. As you can see, this is a whole booklet of all different activities. I'm not gonna go over all of them. Just quickly tell you what they have. Parasailing, 15 minutes, $95. Jet ski rental, 15 15 minutes, $75. CBAP rental, 15 minutes, $65. Of course, if you want it longer, it is just more expensive. Paddleboard and kayak rentals are $25 an hour. Uh, the catamaran rentals is $50 around, uh, for an hour. They have also kite surf, kite surf rentals, so wind surf, uh, fly boarding, and different types of excursions to visit different islands, starting from $60 and even fishing for four hours for $750. They have uh, speedboat rentals, different boat rentals starting from $250 all, all the way to $7,000 for four hours. And also they have a dive center. The diving starts from $90 and they, depending on how many dives you do and how many hours, the price goes up as well. Uh, they also also do uh, patty um, uh, educational courses so if you want to learn uh, the scuba dive three uh, dives uh, three confined dives and two open water dives is $400 so it's pretty reasonable and it's cool that you can either access it while staying at the resort or when you come for a day trip as well so I had a little hiccup when arriving here as soon as I got here I have my drone with me and I sent my drone up from the beach straight out over the ocean to get an aerial shot of this beautiful magnificent island and after about maybe five minutes up in the air I had a security guard approach me and asked me about the drone and he said that I can't really fly the drone I have to go get permission so I said okay I will bring the drone back and uh, I'll you know do whatever it is that I have to do to get the permission so after I brought the drone back, he said, can I see the footage? I said, sure, no problem. So 
to address that point, the reason he asked me, can I see the footage, is probably because he was thinking, obviously there are villas back there, overwater bungalows, and there is privacy involved. And of course, some people are reckless with their drones. They want to snoop. They want to, not being malicious, but they want to see what the over bungalow looks like. And if people are on their overwater bungalow and it's private between bungalows, but not from the air, I could see how we could invade someone's privacy. But of course, I know the laws of using a drone. I am not trying to snoop. I was way out over the ocean. I wanted to take a complete aerial, which I'm going to show you as I'm talking now of what I did capture. And I did capture about maybe three to four minutes of footage. Also, what I do notice is that in this area, the seaplanes and the airport is not too far, even though it allows you to take off. Now, what some people don't understand is that the way drones are now, they have updates on the controller and in the drone and because it works with GPS, what happens is when you turn your drone on, the uh, drone begins to link to satellites and it tracks you via GPS and it knows exactly where you are. And if there's an airport within a certain vicinity of that airport, there's an imaginary circle around that airport within a certain amount of miles, you can't even fly the drone. The motors won't even start. And of course, a lot of people don't understand that. But yes, if you are in an area of an airport, your drone will not even turn on. The motors won't spin. So that's not even a concern. But I do understand when I came to the beach and I looked up, there's some seaplanes landing, I guess, further out. But I could see the height of the seaplanes and it's not too high up. I would guess maybe something like 500 feet or so. And the drones can actually go that high. And some people, they can, in the drone app, you can turn on or off the distance of how high you want the drone to fly. And for some people, they max it out. And when you max it out, you do have to confirm that you are responsible, that you're going over what is required for a drone. And that's simply by just toggling a switch. So the, the drone pilot have the ability to do that without being, you know, I guess, looked after. So it's at their own discretion. And being up there, I could see why it's not really that safe. Because if you are flying and you want to get a complete shot of this island, you do have to fly as far out as possible so you could see the whole island and as high just so you could get the perspective of the island. And I could see maybe where that might be a problem. So I didn't make a big deal about it, of course. And I always obey drone laws. And when they do tell me I can't fly, you know, it doesn't feel good because I want to get images and I want to be able to show these images. But I also understand that there are laws and there's privacy. So the moment they said you can't, I just brought the drone back. He wanted to see the footage, showed him the footage. He was like, okay, fine, no problem. It was out over the ocean and it was just a big complete aerial. So for those who are bringing their drones here, just know specifically on this island, there are no drones because he called it in and he asked someone, I guess his supervisor, hey, someone is flying a drone. They want to know if they can actually get um, permission. And I guess whoever he spoke to told them, no, they're not even allowed to fly here. So if you are coming here to this specific island, you're not going to be able to fly your drone. And if you do and you get caught, they'll just tell you, you know, basically you can't do it. So just a word of advice for those of you who want to fly the drones. So evening is just upon us right now. The sun is setting, it's getting darker. We had an amazing day here. It was incredible, much more than I anticipated. Yes, absolutely. I am very impressed. We did not know what to expect since on the app it did not allow us to book the pass only the speedboat transfer so we thought we were just going to walk around the marina but we ended up having an incredible day okay so you might wondering twenty dollars per person round trip for the ferry and then a twelve dollar entrance fee well okay now the price is adding up now let's talk about food while you're here right because obviously you're here all day and you want to maybe have something to drink or something to eat so I have a menu that's just out of the shop right now and we're going to go over some prices for you this way when you're here you'll know when you order certain things like burgers or fries or whatever you kind of get the idea of what the cost is mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. if you don't get the all-inclusive option right as far as uh, salads go the salads range they have a uh, Caesar salad mixed green salad um, and that goes from anywhere from 15 to 18 dollars so 16 18 and 15 for the three different salads they have their burgers and sandwiches their chicken burger goes for 20 dollars their beef yeah their beef burger goes for 22 and their club sandwiches goes for 18. and they also have selection of pizzas they go from 16 to 22 dollars depending on the toppings that you would like to get mm -hmm. they have typical margarita pizza marinara pizza and of course some brands of pizza that they add their name to it and they deck it out with different types of toppings. Um, you also have pasta on the menu, um, uh, penny pasta and different types. 
and it goes from 16 to 18 dollars so again everything seems to be under 22 dollars there's nothing more expensive than 22 dollars um, that goes for the most expensive thing is the beef burger for 22 and uh, the drinks are reasonable too devon had beer for nine us dollars plus tax and um, tip and um, it, uh, we haven't had other drinks but it doesn't sound like it that would be uh, ridiculously expensive so it this place um, includes all the lounging chairs, uh, towels, you can have as much towels as you want. There are also activities, uh, there are balls so you can play volleyball, uh, soccer. And it's really cool also because they have instructors that will come out every couple of hours and they'll try to set up a volleyball game based on how many people are here mm -hmm. or maybe a little soccer game. They, when we got here they were doing aerobics yes, in aqua the water, aerobics. aqua aerobics which is cool. Later on they had one for abs, ab workout and, mm -hmm. and some, other one, some other aerobic class again which is really cool. DJ came in, started playing really cool, yes. cool music, people started dancing by the bar. It was re really really cool vibe here and you get all that for just a little bit of money. I, I think it's really, really, really worth it because we've been to places where they try to get you once you get here, the prices of the food is just outrageous at the bar or just food alone. And mm -hmm. that's not the case here, considering it's the Maldives. Our, we booked our speedboat for the way back for 9 p.m. So we have pretty much the entire day here. Mm -hmm. And if you want to stay in Mali and just shuttle yourself in back and forth, that's a great deal. Right, and even though when we got here and we told you, you know, there's another resort, there's a tiny little bridge you can cross or you can go to the Hard Rock and cross the long bridge. Uh, and we don't have access to that because we have this wristband and when they see you with the wristband, they know that you're just here for the day and you're not allowed to go in that area. Now, if you're staying at one of those resorts, obviously you can come here. It doesn't feel like, oh, you guys are kind of, you know, I paid to get on the island and I feel like I'm being locked out because I want to know what's going on over there. Well, there's really nothing going on over there. Basically, those people from Hard Rock and from the next hotel, they come here to the pool. This is the yeah. central area. The shops are here, the pools are here, the restaurants are here. Music. Music, the vibes, vibes yeah, everything. The beach is here. So, again, if, yeah, if you don't want to be over there swim where your bar. hotel is, from a bar then you come here so again you're not really missing out on anything by not being able to go to the hard rock or not being able to go to the other resort definitely jbo approved crossroads app download it get your round trip transfer because it will be a little bit cheaper if you get the round trip right away mm -hmm. and when you come here just get a pass of your choosing and we're going to be going to other local islands after we're done so again this is a complete Maldives series we're going to show you how to do Maldives on a budget we are learning so much while we're here we're doing so much research talking to so many locals and even uh, tourists alike and we're finding out what their experiences is like and what they're paying for what so we're getting a really good grasp on really how to maneuver around here and we probably made a few mistakes but we're gonna iron them out and we're gonna relate to you and this way you don't make the same mistakes uh, we put together Maldives do's and don'ts video so be sure to subscribe to our channel and click notification bells so you don't miss when we publish that video we thank all our members for supporting our channel and if you would like to contribute consider becoming a member or just click that hard button below this video thank you so much for watching and as usual just, just be, be out, out with, with us, us. Cheese!